Jay Calderon of Fight Hook News here with the living legend, the Filipino Flash, Nonito <laughs> Donaire. How you doing, champ? I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. Now, we know that you're on the MVP promotions That's team right. for the broadcast. How's about that? How you like that? Man, you know, I'm blessed, man. I, you know, it, it's crazy because this is very exciting for me, you know, to be able to to do something that I love doing, you know, to break down fights and, and be in there with with uh, with tremendous um, uh, commentary uh, commentators as well, you know, with Wayne and Daniel, they just know their boxing too, and just to put my um, to put my my knowledge inside the ring, it, it, I, I, this is gonna be really fun, man. I, I'm very very excited. And what you could tell us about the fights that are gonna be happening tomorrow night, the main event, of course, H two O. Everybody's looking to see that young. <laughs> prospect you know grow in the sport of boxing what do you think of him i th he's very athletic you know um he's very athletic um he's, he's very he's strong he's fast he has a lot of the skills to be something you know of course there's little flaws here and there that that needs to be checked um and the guys in front of him falcao he, he he can fight he can fight too so I, I i'm really excited with that fight because both guys can really fight um uh h2o is is very uh is, is very talented now, there's another good lightweight fight that's on the card tomorrow with a local favorite over here in Corey Marksman and also Tony Aguilar. And we saw what Tony Aguilar did in his last performance here in December. You know, I'm very excited for that fight. What about you? What do you think? I think this is this that fight is something I'm really looking forward to, you know, um, because they're both undefeated. Um, they, they're, you know, there's, there's a lot of pressure being an undefeated fighter. But they got to uh, bring, they, they're, they're there to bring the best, uh, you know, of themselves. And I think that we're going to see a tremendous fight. I mean, Marksman is very skillful. Um, and then you have you have uh, Aguilar, who, who has the heart of a warrior, heart, heart of a lion, you know. That's why that, that fight is, is either, will the, will the heart break down the skills or will the skill break down the will? Now, they both fought in the amateurs, you know, so they got some history together. And I believe Aguilar got the best of Corey Marchman. Both of them, right. So, you know, it's going to be very exciting to see them get into the ring. You think fighting a fighter in the past, in the amateur, several times, you have a little bit more awareness about that fighter and how to approach him? I mean, a lot of people would, would think of it that way, but just interviewing them both yesterday, um, they didn't give you care too much about um, about what happened in the in the amateurs. They just see that amateurs was was irrelevant to how this fight is going to be, in, you know. So um, their focus on their professional career um, will that affect any of them? I, I feel that I don't know how the fight went, but the way both guys have been very uh, very confident was 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 something that I'm really looking forward to this fight. Now also we have the lovely Marcella Cornero. She's on the card. She's not really a prospect. She's been in there with Franchon, with Carissa Shields, you know, now both, she's Both of them actually. Both you know? of them. Um, both Candy and, and, and uh and Marcella has been this tremendous part of uh, of, of, of of fighting the best out there, you know, and, and I think that this is the make it or break it kind of fight for them. So you think her moving down to the welterweight division? Really? I, I think she's gonna do really well moving down to to, uh, to this division. You know, she feels that this is gonna be her uh, her weight that she that she can showcase.